Well, grace and peace from God our Father and uh, Jesus Christ, his Son. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I love you a day. I will rejoice and be glad in it and send now prosperity into the life of the believer. It's a great day to be alive. Any day above ground zero is a great day. I think we take life for granted. I want to tell y'all, don't, hey, Patricia, uh, Joy, don't take life for granted. Come on up, Mika. I invited some of y'all. Uh, don't take life for granted. Every day that you have life in your body, uh, I want you to rejoice it. I want you to, to embrace it. Uh, I will rejoice and be glad in it. Love you a, a day our administrator over there and over here and Nairobi who who um, is helping us on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. I appreciate you and all of the team. Um, when you become a family, then you 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 start trusting people. So uh, Tuesday, Thursday, I mod some of the family uh, to be a part. I thank God for you a day. Um, um, just all that you do. Even though you get a little, you get a little off, a little off because of Bay, but <laughs> that's a private joke. Um, but everybody, Instagram, Facebook, and um, YouTube. Hey, don't forget to look at the interview with Kwame Kilpatrick. Uh, I've gotten great reviews from it. It's on, may play it again on YouTube and Facebook. Um. I want to talk about today. Um, I want to talk about timing is everything. Timing. Paulette. Timing. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Y'all must have went back and looked at it. Because wasn't that many of y'all on there last night? I said, oh, no. Oh, thank y'all. Thank you. I appreciate you um timing is everything honor you prophet uh honor you uh timing a car moves by a timing change we just um we just had um and i didn't even know this is the first year i did not even know because i was on the road so much i i wasn't on social media um that in the spring we spring forward because timing it gets darker later now i didn't even know it was 7 30 yesterday um because it was still light outside timing everything moves by time you you know to be here uh, at three o'clock uh you, you know to be here um uh, at 12 30 on sundays you you timing you wake up by timing you go to bed by timing timing is everything I, i'm gonna give you a, a a few scriptures more than i usually do just to prove my point uh timing timing is everything timing who you meet who you meet y'all bring Shakim up for me who you meet Patricia Mika who you meet where you meet them I feel like teaching has everything to do with timing you want to know why you have not met the right one because time has not aligned with opportunity. My God, I just said something. I said, you want to know the reason why you have not met the right one is because timing has not met up with opportunity. Timing and opportunity work hand in hand. 
nothing happens by accident. Clubhouse started during the pandemic when we were all in. We would not know each other if it wasn't for the timing of Clubhouse. We were all looking to, to do something. We were in the house. Timing. Timing. Prophet Burdell. Timing. Hang in there, Prophet. This, this is for you today. Timing. Timing. That's why you wasn't an accident. I don't care how you got here. I don't care if your mom and daddy don't have a relationship no more. It was timing they got together because of timing i don't care if they never got together again after you it was divine timing timing nothing nothing what you call a mistake was a part of god's timing to teach you i just said oh my god kimberly i said what you thought was a mistake was actually God's divine timing to teach you a lesson. You say, I wish I had a, I had a met so-and-so. Or people have said to me, Bishop Davis, what you're teaching, I wish I had heard this. You couldn't have heard it before now. You're hearing it. Prophet Williams, you ain't saying nothing to me, but I know I'm teaching. Huh? You're hearing it at the time that you should have. You know why you're hearing it at the time you should have? Because you wouldn't have listened to what I'm saying before now. God had to get your heart right. It had to be softened because your old self, Clara, wouldn't have never heard some of the things you you would have heard it that's it erica but you wouldn't have had i'm sorry i i you wouldn't have had an ear to hear you wouldn't have had an ear. uh you had to be hurt you had to go through some things in order to hear i wish i had of i'm trying letty i wish i had met him i wish i had met her Three years ago, you wouldn't have been ready. True story. True story. Um, uh, uh, true story. I met Brooke in 2018. All right. I had been through something. She had been through something. The timing wasn't right. You, 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 you have met some people. Y'all not saying nothing. You have met some people. And they were the right people maybe, but it was just the wrong time. Timing. Timing brings people. If you're just joining us, I'm talking about Timing is everything. Right person, wrong time. Are y'all listening to me? I want to make an announcement to you, Prophet Williams, but the rest of them are going to listen to me free. It is the season to don't to not take anything lightly, anybody you meet. It is the season for you not to miscarry the right timing. <laughs> Let me say it again. It is the season to not take any meeting lightly. And if you think I'm just talking about Barbette, any timing I'm talking about beyond regular timing i'm talking about divine timing divine timing is when god 
allows opportunity to collide with destiny. Somebody, I'm walking, this is what you call walking the dog slow. Huh? Some of you have been through some things and you wonder, when is your time? Psalms 102 and 13 says, you will arise and have mercy on Zion. Come here. For the time to favor her, comma, yes, comma, the set time, comma, has come. Huh? I need 29 people to put in, in the chat This is my set time. I said, I, I'm, I'm going to wait. I Just before I got on here, and, and I, I had this message together yesterday, and um, um, I, I'm not going to go into details because you don't know who's listening, uh, but I had somebody to DM me, and I'm not going to tell you the details. Uh, but it really, I'm, I'm saying five minutes before I came on here, I had a stranger to DM me and 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 usually things don't don't bother me i i've been blogged about i've done some things i've not done some things i've been faulted hey i tell my boys all the time uh my sons they use my name to get in certain stuff i tell them just like y'all use my name for for good stuff people will use my name for bad stuff and it go they're ready to fight people But the good and the bad comes with it. And right before, and I had to be reminded before I, I clicked the button to come on here, that the timing that the enemy allowed for that DM to come to me was to set me in another headspace so I wouldn't bring this word. It is never about me. When you have a calling on your life, Prophet Jerry, I need you to help me. When you have a calling on your life, you're not just being attacked for you. You're being attacked for the people that you carry the word for. Because there are people that come here, that, that click on these lives, that come here for word. And timing, even to the enemy, is everything. An enemy knows how to push the buttons at the right time so that you, but I will not, I will not be distracted because I got a message. I, 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 it, it was the underplay for the overplay of the enemy, but he ought to know that if I got a finger to push the button and I got a mouth to speak, I'm going to deliver this. So timing you got to also watch, come here, Queen Delphi. You got you to gotta also watch the timing of the enemy because we fall for a lot of his tricks because we don't understand that people are used at the right time to try to get on your nerves, to try to hinder what God has for you to do. So this is not the season to take things lightly. Can I prophesy? I thought you would like this, Prophet Jerry, Erica, Carolyn. Erica, I like your new picture. Y'all ready, Barbette? Somebody somewhere has your name on their lips. They don't even know it. They may not even be the person, but they know the person. I, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a come back. I'm going to come back because y'all not ready. Benjamin, come on up. Y'all not ready. I, I'm going I'm to turn the room over to somebody else. I made an announcement right now that somebody, I'm going to say it slow so I can do it some more. Somebody somewhere has your name on their lips. They don't even know you yet. They don't even know that they are going to, Linwood and Deshaun, I set the room up and I left a lot of people out. I'm going to stop doing it a day. I, I Yeah, because I'm sorry, y'all. I know y'all here all the time. My apologies. I know my Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday crew. Huh? I said somebody 
somewhere has your name on their lips and don't even know it. And they don't even know that they're going to be used to introduce you to the person. They're not the person. Y'all quiet in this house. They're not the person that's going to do it for you, but they know somebody that's going to do it. Good, great God from Zion, great ball of fire. Y'all not saying nothing. Huh? You have not met the person that's going to get you where you, it only takes, I need three people to put in the comments. It only takes one, it only takes one person to get you to another person. And the person that's going to get you to another person don't even know that they're the one. They are called the ushers of light. I told you before, ushers take you to your seat. They take you to the show. They take you to the seat so you can enjoy the show so that y'all not saying nothing. It don't take a bunch of people. One man knew a woman that knew the owner that got me on TV. Y'all not saying. It only takes one man. One person can unlock your, not everybody. You trying to be friends, but not everybody. All it takes is one person. Four weeks ago, I didn't know Prophet Jerry. No, not so, I didn't know him. Two years ago, I didn't know Linwood. Y'all, y'all not saying nothing, huh? And I married Linwood. I, I probably wouldn't even the I, Linwood would never thought that I would marry him, cause timing is everything. Hey, Stefan. It was Saul that went to look for donkeys. It ain't even in my notes. It was Saul that went to look for donkeys. And he ended up meeting the prophet Samuel, who told him the donkeys are found, but the kingdom is on your shoulder. You're going to be the new king of Israel. Israel was praying for you. He went looking for donkeys and he got his whole assignment. He met his destiny looking for donkeys. Some of y'all want to quit doing what you're doing. And I told you it's more on the journey than it is, hey, at the destination. I got my foot on the devil today. Celeste, come on. Huh? Timing. Everything moves by time. Everything sets by time. The sun rises on time. The Sun sets at a time. Y'all not saying nothing. Winter comes. Timing is every. The problem is y'all looking at it as March, but it's still winter. And the snow won't leave Detroit right now in the East Coast. There's a Nor'easter going on because it don't care what y'all think. The calendar still says y'all not. I'm, I'm going. I'm Linwood, you're not even helping me today. You don't believe me? Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. For everything, there's a season and a time. Stop cussing about what ain't happened yet. Stop fussing about what ain't happened. Stop looking at your age. God didn't care nothing about age with Abraham and Sarah. The promise can come any day now. I need three people to put in the comments any day now any day now you got a limit on your age Woo! you're limiting i'm not gonna get hollering i'm not gonna holler <coughs> you're limiting when it could happen maurice i love you brother but there ain't no limit on god there is there is a time on the calendar y'all not saying nothing i need 29 people to say my time is coming my time is coming but to everything there is a season, a time for every matter under the heaven. There is a time for everything. Time to live, time to die, time to be born. Y'all not saying nothing. You got to stop losing faith. It's already in time. Y'all don't believe me. Okay. All right. Here we go. Prophet Jerry. Prophet, Prophet Bill. Prophet is Bill. Y'all ready? I know you tore the house down to Sean Kimberly. Y'all ready? But I trust you, O oh Lord. I say, you are my God. 
Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? My times are in your hand. <laughs> Let me rewind it, Carolyn. I trust you, but I trust you. Oh, Lord, I say you are my God. I trust you. You are my God. Y'all not saying that. I trust you. You are my God. My times are in your hand. Y'all not saying nothing. For those of you that are Bible thumping and blue jean skirt wearing and, and, and cross wearing and Bible thumping and, and you believe in God like I do, then you understand that your time we like to say that prophet jerry but when it don't look like it's gonna happen nine people put in the comments all over the place my time is in god's hands somebody share this broadcast somebody share it y'all y'all stingy you don't want nobody to get it but you hey linwood he knew where you would be at this time you had another plan but he had he had his plan you had it all mapped out. You was going to take over for this person and you was going to do that. And then you ended up with Jay Moss. Y'all not saying that. And then, and then now you on the east side. How in the world? Timing. 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 My grandfather's favorite scripture, ladies and gentlemen, Mama Ty, he, he'd always say this. He said, boy, and we know that all things, what do we know, granddaddy? And we know that all things work together for the good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to his purpose, for whom he foreknew. He also predestined. It's already done to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. <coughs> Y'all not saying nothing, huh? What we know that is working together for my good. Y'all not saying nothing, ain't Erica, you ain't helping me, huh? It, it, even if I don't see it, I, I feel like I'm in church. Even if I don't feel it, even if it don't feel right, it's working together, huh? Bad relationships, it's working together, huh? Bad financial moves, it's working together, huh? Divorce, it's working together, huh? Falsely accused, it's working together. And how is it working, Bishop? It's working for my good. It ain't for you to understand. Yeah. Great God. It ain't for you, you trying to understand. It ain't about understanding. It's about knowing that it's working. And we know, Patricia Trotter, it's working. Don't y'all just say this? Huh? It's working for my good. If you knew that it was working for your good, then you wouldn't be complaining about what's working in your life. Huh? If you know it's working for your good, then you wouldn't be complaining and belly aching. Who you meet, where you meet them, has everything to do with timing. Y'all, y'all, Kimberly, you're not even helping me take notes today. Huh? I said, who you meet? Where you meet them has everything to do with timing. You just ain't showed up at the right place yet. Huh? You just ain't showed up at the right place. Ain't it funny that two people that know each other live in two different, two different sides of town, Joanne Devine, live in two different places of time. They can go to the same place and don't even know they're going to see each other at that same place because everything has to do with timing. Thank you, Delphi, for the badge. I love you. Because timing is everything. 
timing. There was a prophet by the name of prophet Elijah. The Tishbite of the inhabitants of Gilead said to Ahab, he told him, he said, as the Lord lives before whom I stand, there shall be no dew or rain these days except for my word. Get away and turn eastward and hide by the brook Cherith. And there you will find a raven. And the raven will feed you every day. Prophet Jerry, Elijah prophesied that there would be no rain, but he had to live in the same famine or the same drought that he prophesied about i i i i'm i'm no prophet jerry don't <laughs> come on y'all don't 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 beat me like that prop i know y'all making fun of the preacher don't don't do that he had to live in the same place that he declared that there would be a drought. He had to live through the same circumstances. Some people died through it. Some people died through the drought. But he told him, he said, go eastward and there would be a brook there. And there at the brook, the raven will feed you and bring you water each day. Timing. Sounds good, don't it? But then the brook dried up. Ladies and gentlemen, before I get to my four points, let me suggest to you that the worst thing in the world, Dr. Paulette, you ain't saying nothing today, is to be where God ain't no more. I said the worst thing in the world is to be in a place where God is not anymore. He has left your situation he has left your circumstances and the brook the very see god's timing is progressive it keeps going and going just because he told you to go to the brook for those days elijah it don't mean you're gonna stay at the brook because it's about timing can i make an announcement to three people right here boy don't you play with me linwood Baptist bone, Baptist died. Just got the Holy Ghost, boy. Don't you play with me. I'm Baptist. Huh? Listen, y'all. Let me break it down to you. Some of y'all are in places that the timing is up. Your season has expired. Before I take it back, I'm going to add more to it. Carolyn and Erica. I don't know when, I don't know how, but y'all going to end up living in the same place, in the same city. You mark my word. If y'all have not already talked about it. Do you hear what I'm saying? There are some relationships that happen that are destiny. Y'all not saying nothing. I'm, I'm leaving the room because y'all don't want to hear me. Huh? Glory. Glory. And the brook dries up. God, how you going to let something dry up that you told me was going to sustain me? Because the issue is the way, come here, come here, Gregory. The way that you, Benjamin, stay in God's timing, you have to continue to listen to his perpetual voice. He doesn't just speak once. Some of y'all got stuck at places that was only momentary and you didn't stay <clears throat> okay i'm gonna go you didn't stay quiet long enough to hear the next direction and so you are in a in case y'all missed what i just said you need to rewind this i said some of y'all got stuck in places doing things that were temporary and you were so busy at a temporary place that you didn't even notice that it dried up and God gave you new instructions because you were talking too much. God's voice 
is perpetual. It continues to talk. He continues to speak. Don't you throw no purse at me. Let me rewind it one more time for those that are in the back for the third time, Anda. Huh? That's it, Anda. Because you have not been sensitive to my voice. I hear the Lord saying to you that you are at a place that has dried up and you don't even know it because you never got the next directions where to move. God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. For the father seeketh such to worship him. What do you mean, Bishop? He speaks through us. He speaks to us. Now when he, who, that's it, Lynn, would help me preach. The spirit of truth comes. He will lead you and guide you into all truth. Yeah. Yeah, the spirit is speaking today and telling 10 of y'all that your place has dried up. Listen to the next instructions. And he says to him, go, arise, go to Zarephath, which belongs to Zion and dwell there. So I have commanded a widow there to provide for you. So he arose and went to Zarephath. And when he came to the gate, the city, indeed, the, wind, the widow was there gathering sticks. And he called her. He said, I prepared her. Prophet Jerry, Linwood, I scratched my head here because she didn't really know. She didn't really know that he was. I don't find nowhere in the text that she really knew. So his preparing mean I have placed her. Y'all not saying nothing. That when he gets to the gate, y'all not saying nothing. I, I thought I didn't read the text right, Linwood. I'm Baptist now. I'm asking a question I know the answer to. But ain't nowhere in the text that says she knew. It says that he prepared her. Y'all not saying nothing. Uh Meaning she was in the right place at the right time. That's where some of y'all going. Y'all getting ready to go to the right bank. And the right person going to be there. Huh, the wrong person going to be there took a lunch break. You can ready to go to the right car dealership. And they're going to say, I don't know why. I don't know why. Hey, Anthony, I don't know why I'm helping you. Huh? God sends people to divinely connect you at the right time, at the right place. And let me say this to you. There are some people that are not assigned to help you. They have to say no. They have to turn you down because they are not assigned to you. Everybody is not assigned to you. Y'all not saying nothing. Everybody ain't got your yes. Everybody ain't got your come on. Everybody ain't got your ain't got your push that you need. You got your feelings hurt over somebody that ain't assigned to help you. You got your feelings hurt over somebody that ain't supposed to. They supposed to turn you down. You got your feelings hurt over people that left out of your life early when they wasn't there for nothing but to boost you up. Now you're waiting for the right one. She's standing at the gate. She's gathering sticks. Please bring me a little water in a cup that I may drink. And she was going to get it. He called her and said, please bring me a morsel of bread in your hand. She said, as the Lord lives, I do not have bread, only a handful of flour. And a little oil in the jar. See, I'm going to gather this stuff and, and I'm going to make it and I'm going to prepare for me and my son. But he said, nope, you ain't going to die. You bring me a piece first. Huh? Do not fear. Go do as I've said. Huh? And she did as he said. 
and him, her, and the son lived off of it. Because the brook dried up. Now it's her turn. And let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me tell you something about the raven. And let me tell you something about the woman. The raven lived because he was sustaining the prophet. Prophet Jerry, come get me. I said the raven had water because of his assignment to bring water. Y'all not saying nothing. And food to the prophet. The woman lived. Y'all not saying nothing. Huh? Huh? The woman lived because the prophet, she was assigned to the prophet to sustain him. Can I make an announcement for you? Can, can, I'm getting ready to go. Huh? There are some folk. Huh? They're going to live just because they are assigned to your life. There's some folk that God is going to bless just because they are assigned to your life. Huh? He said, give it to me first. See, even when you talk about seed and harvest, the seed has to be planted at the right time. That's why when I was pastoring, uh, people, whenever I would be preaching, people would come to the altar and they would begin to sow because they were sowing into the word for their life because they understood as the word for their life was dropping that they needed to sow into the very word that was being preached so that the harvest y'all I'm, I'm going because y'all don't want y'all don't want to hear this let me let me let me let me tell you let me tell you everything moves by time timing has to do with everything so that's 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 there's four things i want you to do brooke i want you to be present i want you to be present in the timing Huh? You got to be present. Well, Bishop, I'm here. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about just your body showing up. I'm talking about your mind. You got you to get rid of your stinking thinking. <clears throat> huh? You got to be present in the moment. Y'all not saying nothing. You got to be present in the time. You can't be talking about what didn't happen and what failed and <coughs> y'all not saying that. who didn't work and what man wasn't good and, and what woman wasn't good and what relationship. No, you got to be present. <laughs> when the timing of God comes, the set time I'm teaching in here, you got to be present for what God wants to do. And some of you, you are not present in the moment. You're present in the past. You're present in the future. But I need you to be present in this moment so you can receive what God. You're going to miss somebody. Y'all not saying nothing in here. You're going to miss out on who God got. Thank you, Patrice Trotter, for the seed. I haven't seen that in a while in Facebook. She so thank you so much. You got to be present. Some of you are not present. You're belly aching about your problems. You're belly aching about your situation. You're belly aching about what's not working. You're looking at everybody on social media and you're, you're, you're trying to put your time... Whenever you want to be and do what somebody else is doing and wish you were doing it, that means you're not grateful for the timing that God has on your life. I'm gone. I'm gone. I ain't got time, Gregory, to compare myself to nobody else. I'm never intimidated by nobody else's gift. I just do me. I need three people to put in there. I'm doing me. Huh? Huh? You looking at the grass on the other side. Oh, I wish I could do this. I wish I had them. I wish I had this. No. I'm doing me, baby. Huh? Can't nobody do Gregory Michael Davis Sr. like I can. Can't nobody be me. Huh? We were talking yesterday. And Brooke was saying, ain't nobody got my beard like I got. Ain't nobody... People could be on the other side of the room and I'm nowhere in their face and they hear my voice. My voice is distinct. 
Y'all not saying nothing. I'm getting happy all by myself at this desk. I said, it don't matter. My voice has a distinct voice. It sounds like nobody else. Because I'm present. I'm not where what happened to me with my mama. I'm not with me what happened to me with my daddy. I'm not there. I'm present. I need y'all to be present in the moment. Because if you're not present in the moment, you're going to miss the timing of God. You're going to miss the person that y'all not saying nothing. Be present. Number two. I need you to be open. We're talking about this this morning. Open. Open to the timing of God. Because, hey, Prophet Prophet Beal, Prophet Beal, Prophet Beal, you could be there, but you could be closed-minded. Be open to new people. I don't care. Let me get a swig of this. <coughs> Be open to new people. Be open to new things. Be open to new systems. Be open to new ways of doing things. Be present. You can be there, but not be open. What if somebody comes and they have something on their mind for you and you're not open? You could miss the timing. How many of y'all, because it sound too good? Oh, y'all in here today. Because it sound too good to be true. Brandon, I see you at the back end. Huh, Michael? Because it sound too good to be true, Charles. Huh? I can't believe it. This can't be from, you're not open. That's why some women can never find a new man. Because you're not open to the possibilities of somebody new. You know what insanity is, don't you? Keep doing the same old thing. You're not open. In this season and in this time, you have to be open to new things. I need three people to put in there. I'm open and I'm present. Be open to new doors. Be open to people that don't look like you. Huh? Huh? You looking for a man that got a Rolls Royce and he may set up somebody that got a pickup truck but got more money than the one driving the Rolls Royce. Be open. Be open to new paradigms, new shifts, new way of doing things, living in new places, going new places. Some of y'all ain't been outside your neighborhood. You ain't been outside the city. Be open and present. I'm closing. Number three, realize you've been preparing for it all along. Did you hear what I said? Realize that everything that you've been doing, did y'all get it, Kimberly? Realizing you've been preparing for it all the time. <laughs> hey! I've been preparing for this all my life. All my life I had to fight. Huh? I've been preparing for this all the time. You know what I understood? All right, here you go. Here you go. Testimony time. I'm done. Huh? When I came out of high school, I went to college for two days, and I said, this ain't for me. I went to Wayne State, and I sat there in that big old lecture room. I said, this ain't for me. I need to be making some money. Don't try this at home. And I start working at a tuxedo store. I became the assistant manager from the guy. Watch this. I invite, I was always extra, always extra. Invited the guy, his name was Eric. And I invited him to come and fit us up for tuxedos for prom. All right. He remembered me and hired me as his assistant manager. Then he went to work for a store called Kuppenheimer, which is men's warehouse now. And I became the store manager. At 19, 20 years old, I was making $50,000 a year. 
Then I went to work for TJ Maxx. I learned how to operate a store. Y'all listen to me. Then I became assistant manager at TJ Maxx. Made, made 60 something thousand dollars a year. Open stores in Michigan. Are y'all, are y'all, are y'all, are y'all listening to me? I learned how to open stores there. I learned how to do punch lists, how to build stuff. I learned about end caps and how to present stuff, how to put stuff together. And when the store was almost ready, we had a list that we had to make up of things that still need to be do. So I know how to put things. Y'all, y'all not saying that. Then I worked for a place. Don't y'all laugh at me. Don't laugh at me, Bria. Bria, I see you coming in. I worked for Fredericks of Hollywood. I didn't work in the store. I was a regional manager. So I learned to have more than one store. Anda, don't preach for me. I learned to have more than one store. I had the whole Midwest, Indiana, Michigan, Ohio, Pennsylvania. Huh? I was a regional manager. It was over all the store managers. Store manager for a little small tuxedo place in Detroit, Valente's. Assistant manager for a major company. Y'all not saying nothing. And then regional manager. Store manager taught me how to open churches. How to manage and be a pastor. Assistant manager at TJ Maxx taught me how to plant churches, new churches, punch lists, how to make it look nice. Y'all not saying nothing. Regional manager taught me how to have one church in three locations. Y'all not saying nothing. Nothing that I have done in my life was an accident. Nothing that I have done Y'all not saying nothing was not I don't nothing I have done, Gregory. Did I waste time? Even every bad relationship wasn't a waste of time. They were lessons. Brothers and sisters, as I close, I realized that everything that I've been through was preparing me for where I'm at right now. I ain't had one job. That was a waste. I have not spent time nowhere too long. Y'all not Delphi, come up, please. I have not spent time nowhere too long. I have not been anywhere that was a waste of time. Even when I thought it was, when I look back over my life, he was prepared. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, you did not make any mistakes. You weren't anywhere that you weren't supposed to be. You didn't go nowhere. You wasn't, you wasn't with nobody. I don't care how bad you don't like them. Okay, how bad you did them. They did you. Everything was about timing. Be present. Be open. It may seem off. It may seem messed up. The time in the you. Hey, Prophet Jerry, his ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. So even if the timing seems off to you, whenever the time is off to you, it's probably on for God. And whenever you think it's right, it's probably off. The last thing. Don't be afraid of the timing. It's what you prepared for. It's what you were groomed for. It's what you prayed for. Why are you afraid of it? Why are you afraid when the right one finally comes? Why are you afraid to give it, give your all to them? Why are you afraid to give your heart? You've been praying for it. 
Why does wrong seem right and right seem wrong? Why does when it become right, it seems wrong? Thank you, Prophet Jerry. You're more eloquent than me. Embrace it. Whoa, oh, 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 embrace it. Embrace the timing of God. Why would you not embrace? You've been waiting for it. Why would you be afraid of what you've been waiting for? Why would you be afraid of what you've been wanting? Why would you be afraid of what you walk the flow for? Why? For we know what we know, Bishop, that all things work together. It's your time. Timing is everything. Don't you give up on that dream. Don't you give up on that vision. Don't you give up. You come too far. Don't you give up. Don't you dare. Don't you. I decree and declare that this is the. I don't you. Don't you lose hope. Don't you. Don't you do it. Don't you make the mistake. Delpha, I know it seemed like God has forgotten about you. But I hear the Lord saying it is the year. And that as you go into the second half. You're going to meet somebody. That's going to open up the next part of your life. And it's going to be in the field that you love. Because timing is everything. Everything else was just a precursor. Everything else was just a, a rehearsal. If I hear the set time. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I decree and declare it's your time. You may have to set up the church now, Linwood, but God is sending help. He's sending brothers off the street. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You may have to do everything now, but it's predestined. Timing, <coughs> timing, timing, timing. For I know the plan that I have for you, says the Lord. Timing. I'm just waiting for the right time. No, you're not waiting. You're moving into the right time. You're not waiting for the right time. You're moving into the right You're not waiting on the right time you're moving into the right time you're not waiting waiting says you're not doing nothing you're moving into the right time i'm waiting on the right time you're moving into the right time i can't tell you when you're gonna meet them i can't tell you today All I know, we know that it's working for your good. I want you to sow a $33 seed today. That's simple. 29 people that would sow $33. One person is going to double that. Joy, Patricia, I want to challenge your faith today. Mimi, Demetria, $33 seed. What is 33? That's the Jesus number. What do you mean, Bishop? At the age of 33, he finished his assignment. He prepared, he prepared 30 years for his three-year assignment. Y'all, y'all, I'm 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 gone because y'all don't like that. His preparation. Linwood, 
Linwood. His preparation was 30 years. His assignment was three. We prepared three for 30 years. Timing. Timing. So that seed. Your timing seed. Timing, your timing seed of $33. There's one person that's going to sow 66. Double that seed to 66. So yes, $33 seed today. Greg Davis, 10. Oh. Double it. One person. Dollar sign Greg Davis 10. If this word was for you, dollar sign Greg Davis 10. I listened to a day talk about her relationship. And a day I don't want you to lose focus. We talked about this in this room. And then timing kissed opportunity and produced destiny that's what god is going to do for you sean kimberly harriet dr ann timing is going to kiss opportunity and produce destiny so that 33 dollar seed dollar sign greg davis 10. the zell is greg davis show at gmail.com Somebody put it in Greg Davis show. Thank you, Max. Your Zell. All right. Zell, Greg Davis show at Gmail. If um, if you could, Zell, yeah, that's it. I don't know if Mika's still on here. Dollar sign, Greg Davis 10. Thank you, Max. I appreciate you, brother. I love when brother's on. Who's going to sow that seed today? Who's going to sow that seed? Who's going to sow that seed? Just say me. Timing. Just put timing. Done. 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 Thank you, Don. Done. Thank you. Done. Stacy, Karen, Dawn. Oh, those of you that are on Instagram, who's sowing that seed? Thank you, Kimberly. Let me put this here. Thank you, Kimberly. Glory to God. Blessings. Thank you, Deshaun. Timing. Maurice, done. 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 Scandy, done. Glory, glory. Thank you, God. Y'all don't know how the enemy tried to take this word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to glory, glory. Thank you, Diva. Done. 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 Oh. Yes, God. Done, Erica. Done. Done, Fridia. Shakim, done. Oh, 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 oh. Timing. <laughs> but our hands is it, our timing is in God's hand. Kara, good to see you. Oh, 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 joy bless you. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Oh, 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 oh. yes, yes, yes. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Diva, bless you. All right, we're going to go.
those of you that are on Instagram, blessings to you. Timing is everything. So that seed, those are the ways to give right there. PayPal, contact Greg Davis. GregDavisShow.com. Venmo, Greg Davis One. Givelify, Greg Davis Ministries. Blessings. Blessings. Timing is everything. Timing. Timing and purpose and person produces destiny. Bless those of you on Instagram. I'll see you next time. Oh, 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 oh. Those of you on Facebook, I love you. Blessings. We'll see you next time. Thank you, Max. Bless you. Bishop, thank you for your push. Blessings. Blessings. God bless y'all.